Thank you. Must be that big. Welcome back to the show. Well, I've worked up a serious appetite, so thank God we have a chef in the house. What are you up to, James? Right then, everybody, this is real time now. We're going to do pan poach fillets of place with uh, thyme, some fish stock, some fresh lemon juice, and a bit of spinach as well. Michael, are you ready? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. let's do this. Now, everyone knows from the recipe fact sheets the equipment they need, the ingredients they need as well. So, on the stove top, and check these out. I'm doing it on camping stoves. You're doing this on a proper oven at home, so it should be easier, easier for you, rather. And there's our water bubbling away. So, a saucepan full of water bubbling away. This is for the pasta. And then we're just going to add a pinch of salt. Here we've got a non-stick pan on the stove top. And also, over to the ingredients. We have some fish stock, some lemon, some thyme, some spinach, some ginger, some tagliatelle. Oh, you got ginger, that's good. Yeah, man. <laughs> you need to get tagliatelle, fantastico. This is going to be good. You leave, pay attention. You can do it at home, but you can do it. Exactly. And some butter. Now, the butter's firm straight out of the fridge. Mm. Not at room temperature, otherwise it's going to split our sauce. And the main ingredient, our place. Do you like fish, Michael? Yes, I do. You do? OK, now, fish. fish should smell of the sea. How does that sea smell to you? Uh, dolphin? <laughs> <laughs> we need to Google that. Don't give it to the dolphins. OK, so, first things first. From your recipe fact sheet, it will say that you've got skinned fish, OK, off the bone, which this is. All I'm going to do is use a sharp, flexible knife. You need it to be flexible so you can cut around the fillets. And we're going to clean up the fish. You ready? Go ahead. Let's do this. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so, we're just trimming off the bones from the fish. <laughs> Whoa! OK, put it down. It's Wait. not the Japanese you. Last one. <laughs> Come on, Hey! Okay. So here we go. No direction for Hillary Clinton. There's our fish fillets, all ready to go. Next up, pre-made fish stock. Okay. Right, go on then. Thank you. Okay. Into your non-stick frying pan, we're going to add a glug of fish stock. Fill it about a third full. You want your pan to be warm like this. Just turn up your heat a bit if it's not bubbling at all at home, OK? Now, in the meantime, while that's bubbling away, we're going to do one portion. If you're cooking for a family, a bigger handful. So, in with the pasta. Straight into the boiling water, OK? And then just leave it to cook through. This is already pre-cooked, OK? Now, next up, we're just going to put the fish over to one side. We've got some of our stem ginger. And then, Watch it, with careful. a small knife... Your kung fu is very good. <laughs> ..we're going to slice the ginger. And we just want this to be cut into small chunks. <laughs> this is a really no! noisy... No! ..a noisy knife that I've got on my go here, as you can see. Listen, like Amy said, no, <laughs> no, no! <laughs> OK. Now, our fish stock is um, obviously starting to simmer now. I'm just going to turn it up. Into that, we're going to add about a teaspoonful of the chopped ginger, like it says in your recipe fact sheet. Oh, it's very good. You also... Are good a choice. ..a tiny bit of the syrup, OK? And now, at this stage, next, we're just going to get our fillets of place and we're going to lay them... <laughs> <laughs> ..into the... ..into the bubbling... <laughs> ..into the bubbling fish stock. Go on, then. <laughs> Nobody's paying attention. OK. So, as we can see, fish cooks very, very quickly. If you overcook fish and you see any, like, white parts come out of it, that's protein. Mm. And you really, really importantly need to keep that in your fish. Fish cooks in minutes. Please always remember that. Never overcook your fish, mm. OK? So now I'm just going to check the heat again. If you're at home, just gently turn up the heat. <laughs> and now it's starting to simmer. In the meantime, our pasta's ready. Captain, we're almost ready. Full <laughs> power, sir. Here we go. So, just in with the uh, tongs, and then we're just going to drain off any of the excess, OK? Now, as I said to you before, I'm doing enough for one. So, that looks great to me. We're just going to put this off to one side and leave this down over in the corner. Now, the fish, as we can see, is bubbling along. At this stage, we're going to get our thyme leaves. Now, thyme, if you're using it in the winter time, will be very, very woody. <laughs> so, we just add the thyme leaves and strip it off the bark of the... Actually, of the it's house. about half past. <laughs> a, few, a few more thyme leaves. 
go into your uh, reducing fish stock. And as you can see, it's with the colour of the tea, fish, it, it is indeed. It's actually about three minutes away. OK, that's good time. Then. OK. Now, as you can see, the fish is halfway cooked through. At this stage, just carry on adding your fresh thyme leaves. If you add these at the beginning, it's going to turn your sauce bitter, so please remember that. Now, here I've got myself a fish slice. Michael, my man, could you slice me up two lemons just in half, please? Keep yourself busy. OK, now watch. We turn over the fish and it's got an opaque colour. That's just exactly what we want, cos we know it's half cooked through. <laughs> over with your spinach. Now, this is uh, fresh leaf spinach, OK? In <laughs> 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 with your spinach leaves. In <laughs> <laughs> with your spinach leaves. And then after that... Oh, shut up, that bloody scooter! <laughs> after that, we grab our butter. Opinion, shut up! <laughs> We grab our butter, which is obviously at cold temperature, not at room temperature. This is going to create our sauce. So in with a couple of knobs of the butter and just watch the sauce come together. The spinach cooks through. We're going to keep the great uh, greenness, the chlorophyll that's in there, and also it contains a lot of iron, which is very important. Now, we could just add a glug of uh, our pasta into the bowl, but I'm a chef and I've got asbestos fingers, so I'm just going to mix up the tagliatelle, which is pre-cooked. We're going to make a barrel with our uh, tagliatelle pasta and just do it round. <laughs> straight onto the plate. Don't let the hedgehog in. Now, <laughs> over to the sauce. As we can see, everything's bubbling and simmering away. It smells wonderful. Keep it going and we're just going to adjust the seasoning now, OK? Now, at this stage, the sauce is done. A pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. <laughs> we're just going to grab the fish fillets, which is just cooked through. See how it's still holding? If this was overcooked, it wouldn't, it wouldn't hold together at all and it would fall mm. apart on us. The spinach, we know, has just been cooked through in a sauce. Lots and lots of different flavour. So we're just going to do two fillets, I think, for this one, for one portion. Okay. I'm going to grab myself a spoon uh. and we're just going to bring the sauce together. And notice it's not split. The butter's had a wonderful gloss and a wonderful richness. The butter's fantastic. Yeah. It's uh, saucy. It's uh, very good. You know you yeah. can make a home. You make sure you go online and get the, get the recipe. Yeah? Yeah, uh, see. Capiche? Ah, yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, see. see. OK, now, watch the sauce bubbling up, coming together. Dig down deep. Grab the green of spinach, grab the thyme, grab the ginger, and then just drizzle it over the top. This should be looking like yours at home now, cooked in literally minutes, lots and lots of flavour. OK, so dig down deep and make sure you get the wonderful ginger in the thyme. And we're just going to finish it all off with some of uh, Michael's lemon, just a tiny bit more lemon juice over the top. And then in true chefy style, clean up the plate, and ladies and gentlemen, you have some fresh food cooked in your kitchen. You followed along with myself and Michael. That is our fillets of place, slowly poached with ginger thyme tagliatelle pasta. I hope you enjoy. Yes. Right then, Michael. Should we go over to the guys? Do you want to grab that and take it over? See, I'll follow I'll you around. I'll take it for you. Wait a moment. Let's go, my man. We have to put a little bit of um, uh, this thing around like this. Oh, you know? beautiful. Okay? You make sure you look good, cos this is uh, England. You must make sure you look good. Eh? Let's do it, my man. <laughs> OK, so we've got some cutlery waiting over here. Fantastic, Buenas guys. Buenas tardes, senor. James, Buenas looks sera. great. Stick it in the middle there, Michael, and... Uh... Si, sí, buenas tarde. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, bon appetito, oh, senor. Let's have a little... Please, uh, you go, you enjoy. Quick taste. Here you are, Michael. Grab, a, grab some cutlery and you go for it. Oh, yeah. Would you like some rum?